Let's now move on to dividends and stock splits. So what we are seeing here is that if it's an exchange traded option, how does the exchange change the, let's say, attributes of the option to make sure that the investor does not have any PNL impact when a dividend happens? Okay. Now, before we move on to that, let's talk about stock dividends. Stock dividends, they happen in two forms. Either a stock can pay you dividend in the form of more stocks, that's what we refer to as a stock dividend, or the stock can pay you dividends in the form of cash. We refer to that as a cash dividend. So let's deal with this guy first. First comes first, the exchange does not make any adjustment to an exchange traded option if the underlying pays a cash dividend. That's the first thing which you have to keep in mind. Let's just take a look at the specifics of this kind of dividend still. And what we are saying here is that I am assuming the stock pays a cash dividend. If let's say at time T, a dividend of div was paid out. I am assuming here that this time T is what we refer to as the X dividend date. X dividend date is the date on which the stock trades X dividend, which means without the dividend. On this date, what happens is that the stock price, it falls down by the value of the dividend. That means at this date T, a few, let's say time instants prior to this date, let me call it T minus, I take the stock price and mathematically speaking, I reduce the stock price by the dividend amount to get the stock price just after the dividend has been stripped off. Okay, that means ST plus is equal to ST minus minus the dividend. Okay, now does this cash dividend affect the option? That's my first question. Well, the thing is, when you price the option, and we'll take a look at option pricing models in lesson 12 the dividend is accounted for, but the forecasted value of this dividend is accounted for, okay, or incorporated. Now, if the dividend which was paid today, I'm assuming this date today is this X dividend date T, differs from that forecasted value of the dividend, which the valuation of the option accounted for, then yes your option value will change because the true dividend was not the same as the forecasted dividend which you accounted for okay that means this cash dividend will have a pnl impact i'm saying here that in the exchange traded world a cash dividend will not be accounted for you will have to live with this pnl impact in the otc world well you can have options which at you know as part of their design at the time that they were structured you could have accounted for dividends by incorporating this feature in which the strike of the option is also adjusted by the dividend amount when the dividend occurs okay so this is a very special case which which can be incorporated into your otc option if you do it at its initiation itself but as far as exchange traded options go, they do not do anything when a cash dividend is paid out. You have to live with the PNL impact. Okay. Let's come to this world. This is a world where dividends were paid out in the form of stock, which means, for example, if I were to say that I am holding one stock and this stock paid out a dividend of 20% stock dividend. It means that for every one stock which I hold, I'll be given 0.2 new stocks. That's 20% of one. That means after this dividend is paid out, I'll be holding 1.2 stocks. Okay. Now, in this way, this stock dividend is actually similar to a stock split. This moving from one stock to now holding 1.2 stocks is actually the same as saying that my one stock holding got split into 1.2. I know it's a fractional amount, but I can, for modeling purpose, assume this to be a stock split. Let's now take into account a proper stock split. Now I'm, I'm assuming here that one stock which I was holding, let's say, got split into N stocks. That split is referred to as a N for one split, okay? 
What does it mean in terms of stock price? Let's assume that I was holding one share of Apple and Apple announced a four for one split. It means that one share which I was holding is now equivalent to or is now split into four shares. If this split of Apple stock into four shares is an event which the market does not attribute any additional value to, okay, now this is again something which you would appreciate as you move forward in the course, but as of now I'm saying if the market does not attribute any additional value to this event of a stock split, then my value of my shareholdings should not change just because Apple has decided to split it into more stocks. That means if my one share of Apple was worth $600 to begin with and it undergoes a 4 for 1 split, then ideally speaking each of these four shares should now be worth $150 each. Now in a very generic sense I can say N for 1 split moves my stock price from S old to a new stock price of S new which is 1 by nth of the old stock price. Remember 1 by 4th for four, 4 for 1 split. So here my new stock price becomes 1 nth of the old stock price and in response what the exchange will do is that it will adjust the terms of the exchange traded option contract so that I as the investor undergo a very minimal PNL impact. So there are two adjustments which the exchange will do. The first one is a strike adjustment and the second one is the adjustment in the number of shares that will exchange hands if the exercise happens. So as a rule of thumb, remember the strike change or the change in strike is the same as what the stock price undergoes. The stock price I know is one nth of the old stock price the new strike price is also one nth of the old strike price. That's my strike adjustment. My number of shares adjustments or stock adjustment is the inverse or reciprocal of the strike adjustment. That means if prior to my split, my number of stocks was this much, after my split, it becomes n times. Let's quickly check if this retains the old value of my options. Remember, my old value of the option, very intuitively speaking, was number of shares that were to be exchanged hands, that times the payoff of one underlying, one underlying asset, and that was max of ST minus K old comma zero. What just happened? Because of the split, this ST became one nth, that means it was S new, which is S old by N, and in response, the exchange also adjusted the strike price and made it 1 by n of the old strike price. The second thing which the exchange did was it multiplied the number of shares which will be exchanged by n. Now take a look at this expression. This n actually cancels with this and this. So in essence, because of these adjustments, the exchange is still promising a very similar kind of payoff as what the investor was being promised prior to this split happening okay so this was for the n for one split in a very generic sense if this was a n for m split for example three shares sp getting split into five it will be then five for three okay what will then be the adjustments first of all the stock price it becomes m upon n times the old stock price this was the total value of m shares which are now divided into n shares that means the new stock price is m by n of the old stock price the strike price undergoes the same adjustment it becomes m by n of the old strike price and the number of shares is the reciprocal that means it's n by m of the erstwhile number of shares okay now remember this i started off with a stock dividend i told you stock dividend from mo from modeling perspective can be taken as a stock split so what is the formula to use i was saying that if my stock offers a dividend of q percent here i assumed it was 20 percent then i can treat it to be a split which is one plus q by 100 for 1 okay so treat this guy to be your n and do your calculations like this okay